today we've got Errol and Tiny for some cross-country practice. I last came to Oxtals last year when I had my big fall on Errol. Uh, Nick is actually going to ride Errol for me. Now you aren't going to do the same thing. Just because, to be honest, we've got a ghost to lay to rest. Da da da! Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm actually getting dressed to ride. Now I'm just gonna get on and have a little walk round, a little warm up, um, because Nick's just out there with another horse at the minute. So I might as well get on, um, give him a little warm up while he's doing that. And then Nick can get on him and show us what he can do. Okay, so we've got the dog, we need the camera, so we're just having to walk them down so we can let the dog be with Nick while I get on, or maybe they might be ready and then Nick can get on. Uh, so we're just walking down. So just a little bit more because the intro was a bit quick in the car. But yes, yeah, so we've come to Oxdall's cross country. He hasn't done any proper cross country since last year. It was about this time last year. I've been in lots of water over the winter um, with our hacking. I've done a few steps um, and I've done a few logs that we've got at home, but nothing um, serious. So 
I wanted to bring him here today um, and the reason I've asked Nick to ride him for me today is Nick has done this so much more than I have you know I've produced a lot of ponies um, but not so much uh, horses um, so we're we're going really well but I just thought do you know what I think it'll be really good for Errol and I for Nick to just give him loads of confidence because he'll be a little bit more confident because he has done it more than I have um, and give him a really good experience and then what I thought I would do is in the next couple of weeks try and get back out again with Nick and then I will ride him um, just because Errol is really good but he is he's young he's green he's you know it's always looking for me for confidence and where he is young and green I've become a little bit nervous um, so I just want to give him a really good ride so I thought I'll let Nick got him to jump him for me show jump and it was the best thing ever because I saw what he really can do so when I got back on I just had that in my mind so that's kind of the reason we're going to get Nick to ride him today um, so yeah hopefully we have a good session and Errol's a good boy
Because <laughs> honestly, he's been in water every every week since since that happened. I've made yeah. sure, and he doesn't do any of that. Did you get all that on video? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Well done. Good oh. Yeah, lovely. Through the water. Yours. Now you and Garden do the same thing. Just because, to be honest, we've got a ghost to lay to rest. Da da da! Can't get better truck than that! Feedback! Feed further back! Boom! Zara May! Good, come past me and into the other one. Turn right, go through the other one, and just jump that little thing with the blue fish on it. Lean back, lean further back. Lean further back now. Back, 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 back. Good. Now go all the way around and jump those little rails. Kick on, sit up. Right leg, right leg. Good. Same again. Boom.
Yes. There you go. That was much better. Yeah. Then you're back to where you were. I think you've just, you know, you are rusty. He's rusty. That was so much better. Did that feel better? go how did you think he was guys this is Errol's first ever time having the ice boots on we're just putting them on the front legs for now um, just for him to get used to it because he's also not that used to having even back boots so that's something I do have to start doing put it down yep well you've got to learn there's 
like, why the hell are you putting this cold boot on me? Yeah. He's got his front ice boots on now, he seems all right. Um, so I'm really pleased how that went with Errol. I warmed him up, just had a walk, a trot and a canter, which I was really pleased with. When I came here last year, he was quite on edge. I was quite nervous, um, definitely much more relaxed. You know, he just had a trot and a canter round, was having a little look at the cross country jumps, but nothing major. Errol wants to eat. Um, and then Nick got on him which I definitely think was the right thing to do he just got him going for me he jumped a few cross-country jumps and then he went in the water um, so I'm really pleased actually that Nick was riding him first because he did do something a bit similar to last year this is obviously where I had my quite nasty fall and I think I would have been really nervous so I don't really know why he didn't like the water we've done loads of practice out hacking all winter and he's absolutely fine but he just freaked himself out a little bit but he then did go back in with the help from timing it didn't take that long and it wasn't that long till he was nice and relaxed in there so Nick then suggested that I get back on him just to have a good run through the water uh, to kind of put that to bed from last year um, so he was really really good he trotted in and out cantered in and out and then I actually went and jumped a few of the cross-country jumps um, jumped the one coming out of the water that Nick had done did that a couple of times did the two houses also did the little rail coming in and then um, another couple and then he suggested I jump the shoulder brush which I was a little bit nervous of because that's a little bit spooky he hadn't jumped there yet and he actually jumped that really really well so we ended it there because it's quite a lot he is still young and green we've done quite a lot of going in and out of the water so yeah I'm really really pleased with him definitely going to try and get out uh, cross country again soon and I think I might do similar when Nick rides him for the first sort of half an hour and then I just get on at the end and we're just going to let him chill out with the ice boots on for now before we get them loaded up and head on home. Oh. 